and we are on. Hi everyone, this is Edoardo from Ski Jumping Italy and this is our first YouTube video. We've just expanded on the new platform on YouTube. We just opened the new channel so with the time we're gonna bring you some videos and uh, I, we think this is quite interesting, you know, expanding on, on YouTube and uh, spreading the voice about ski jumping also with our videos. We will try to do our best also on YouTube. Uh, why, am, why this video? Why I'm here today? This is midnight here. We are around midnight, but it's always time to speak about ski jumping. Why I'm here today? It's because uh, I wanted to to say a few words about what happened today in uh, Bishop Schofen in the la in the qualification round of the last race of the Four Hills tournament. Um, I think what happened today is witnesses that maybe we have come too far. We we cross the line with the new technical specifications, um, new suits, and so on. I explain better. Um, three athletes crashed today between the training jumps and the qualification round. Nick Farrell fell twice. Daiki Ito fell. And uh, also, Rock Rock Justin had a crash in the training round. The problem is that it is not the first time we see a, uh, a sequence of crashes in this forest tournament. And uh, the most important thing is that if we just watch the races, with taking consideration just the races, we had ten crashes in like 11, uh, 11 races and that's much much more than in the past and that's in my opinion pretty dangerous and pretty scary and I'm pretty frightened about it why? because since the introduction of the new suits many things have changed in the jumping technique for example athletes must be 4, 5, even 6 kilometers per hour faster in the in run in order to reach the same length that they reached in the past with s even being slower then explosive power has become more and more important to express explosive power on the table is now crucial and um, that means that athletes tend to to come down from uh, bigger heights than in the past which means being higher and having much more stress on the knees when it comes to landing in Telemark. And with the, the increasing stress on the athlete's knees, also falls and knee injuries increased. And that's what characterized ski jumping in the last two or three years from since the introduction of the new suits. For example, our expert, Gorm Johansson, is a, a big fan, as a huge fan of the old suits, of the old 6 centimeter suits, which gave better aerodynamical support to athletes. Personally, I am not an expert of uh, materials, I am not a technician, I am not a trainer, and I'm surely not a jumper, I'm not an athlete. So I'm not trying to tell anyone what they have to do or give a solution because I'm not in the position of doing so, I cannot do that. But what I want to suggest is taking some time to think about what happened today and what happened in this season, during this season, when ha what happened in the last years in the, with, with, uh, with women, in the Women Continental Cup, in the Women World Cup. We had many injuries, Daniele Rashko, uh, Sarah Hendrickson, uh, Jacqueline Seffritzberger, many more. And I think the situation is quite, it's quite frightful now because um, personally I am frightened by what we might see and what might happen in uh, Planitza on the new Letalnitsa hill. And in general, generally speaking, in the ski flying competitions because speeds are very very high now and um, 
the problem is that really now things are getting worse and I'm not and I'm certainly not the first, the only one to be to be frightened about it to be worried and that's why I'm making this video because I know I know I'm not the only one my my point is just that we should take a moment maybe step back a little and think about what we've made in the last years and all the changes the changes we've made um some say I'm not trying to criticize anyone but some say uh the fis so the federation walter Ofer, and uh, all the delegate technical delegates just think about money and don't think about the about safety i'm not trying to say that i'm just reporting a voice but surely things are now pretty pretty complicated and we should really step back a little and think about what we can do if we can improve the athlete's safety because now we are we are approaching the ski jumping hills the, the ski flying hills and in particular we will debut on the new planitza hill which will be the the biggest one in the world so we will see what happens and um that's it i mean I just wish Nick Farrell a speed recovery and I hope his conditions are better than they appeared after the jump. And that's it. So keep following us, keep following skijumpingitaly.com, keep following our new magazine at the hills. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter and on Instagram. Follow us also on YouTube. And uh Enjoy the last race of the of the for this tournament and the rest of the season. Keep rocking. Bye bye.